I thought I'll get a good morning out of you all. Never mind. All right. Okay, now it is. Uh, okay, so let's get started uh, quickly. So I've given just 10 minutes. So I, I'm from Great Lakes Institute of Management, and my topic is, as it says here, developing an analytics major. Right? So, you know, there is a, uh, the background is, I mean, traditionally we, in business schools, we have major specializations in marketing, finance, operations, and so on. So we decided to start a, a specialization in business analytics, right? And the background was, right, there's a huge growth in the analytics space in India, right? And the supply was inadequate, right? So the, the industry needed lots of more people, whereas the supply was not enough, right? And computing power is expanding by the minute, really, not even by the day. Big data, right? we've heard of this term called big data. Big data is all around us, right? And besides, at Great Lakes, right, we pride ourselves on, you know, on our, on our quantitative abilities. That is, you know, we have a very strong base in quantitative and research methods and so on. And uh, at one of the USPs of Great Lakes is that we have several visiting faculty from abroad that teach our students, and they are, many of them are quantitatively, analytically inclined. Plus, at Great Lakes, we have a conference that is called the NASME Marketing. Great Lakes, NAS, NASME stands for North American Society for Marketing Education in India. So we have a conference every year. Lots of delegates from abroad, including the United States, they attend. So we have very good relationships with these people, and so uh, the idea was we can get them to teach some of these courses that we ourselves, maybe we don't have the skill sets to do. So that was the, that was the background behind starting an analytics specialization over and above the finance, marketing, etc. right? And the way that we went about this was, right, we had very clearly, I mean, well-articulated thought, of, I mean, we thought of the objectives beforehand. So, you know, the objectives were, right, the students had to pick up knowledge of statistical tools, right, and they had to get the message that data-driven decision-making was the key, right, that's the main thing, data-driven decision-making, that right? rather than using intuition and so on, right. And once they gain this knowledge, right, how do we apply these tools to real world, you know, business situations in various functional areas? And the platforms that we used were SPSS, SAS, and R. And so we put together these nine courses, right? And now it has become more than like maybe even 17 or 18 courses. Initially, we started off with these nine, you know, new courses. Some of them are very unique courses, like, you know, like, uh, you know, consu like consumer-focused product marketing is taught by Professor Sina Sinvasana Stanford, who, who actually came up with this tool called conjoint analysis way back in the 70s with another person called Paul Green, right? So we put together these courses, right? And you can see that a majority of them, right, were uh, Professor Vaidhijaram is now with us, but earlier he was at the University of Miami when he started. So majority of these people are from, you know, foreign universities who were able to put together a bouquet of, you know, of courses that are typically not at, uh, taught at many other B schools. And again, we, uh, these courses, right, were taught on different platforms like SAS, R, and so on, right? And various tools and techniques were taught as part of these courses over and above what we teach in, let's say, market research or you know, basic stats and so on, right? So we, we, we expose students to various tools and techniques on different platforms. And while, while we uh, started this analytics major, right, uh, we encountered some challenges, right? Because of the big hype around big data, right? there was a huge demand from the student community. So everybody virtually said, I want to major or minor in analytics. So it was difficult catering to this demand. So what we did was, the solution was, we offered the same course across multiple terms, many times by different faculty. And, you know, to, and, and once these courses, we also added more and more courses. And as this happened, there was some overlap between the courses. So the solution was the Academic Council met and we resolved the overlap to a large extent. But even now, to be honest, it continues because there's only so much that we can teach. Right? as part of analytics. And, you know, we had different applications of the same techniques in different functional areas. And, uh, and as we started the major, right, so new areas like web and social media analytics, they emerged, right? 
So we added such courses as well. Then the results that we got was, right, we found that from a placement perspective, right, after we added the analytics uh, specialization, right, the number of jobs that, you know, our students get uh, in this space has increased. And this year, right, I, I think it will go up even further, right, it will go up even further, it looks like. And most of the students were very happy with the bouquet of co courses that we had assembled, right. And going forward, right, the logic, and this year, we are starting a major in what we call AIMLA, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning and Analytics. So we, have, we are going to further expand this bouquet of courses, right, because there is a huge interest among students. And we have started a special MBA focused on technopreneurship, right, uh, along with, an, with a U.S. university called the Illinois Institute of Technology with an AIMLA major thrown as well, right. So in sum, right, we were the first school, I believe, in India to offer analytics as a major, as a specialization, right? And it has been a resounding success, right? Students have embraced it. Recruiters like it. And after talking to recruit, recruiters, we want to take it forward, right, and build on it by, uh, I mean, now this um, analytics major is going to morph into what we call the AIMLA major, the Artificial Intelligence Machine Learning and analytics major. Right? So specifically, right, uh, you know, we teach the various tools, various multivariate techniques, the neural networks, application, everything, right? So I think I've finished well ahead of time, right? I've zipped through, right? Thank really, you. okay. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah.